Watching sci-fi films like Stargate, Star Trek, or Interstellar, we all wish that we could create a wormhole that would help us travel millions of miles in just a blink. We could only dream because it seemed impossible. Well, now things have progressed to the point where scientists claim to be able to create a wormhole. Surprisingly, they've already done so, but will we be able to put it into use? How successful was it? And are there any other ways to make a wormhole? Come along with us today for a ride through the wormholes. So tighten your grip and don't say we didn't warn you. Everybody loves and wants a wormhole, and why wouldn't they? Who wants to waste tens of thousands of years traveling the long and slow routes across the universe just to reach yet another boring star? The urge to travel the millions of miles distance in the fastest way possible made the scientists work on one of the most mesmerizing objects of space. A wormhole is a sort of theoretical tunnel through space-time, often used as the preferred mode of interstellar travel in movies. The opening is a shortcut to another location in the universe through intervening space. That seems to be in stark contrast to a black hole which is less of a tunnel and more of a meat grinder. However, some physicists claim that both black holes and wormholes share many of the same characteristics. Albert Einstein, along with Nathan Rosen, discovered the simplest possible wormhole solution in 1935, which is why wormholes are sometimes called Einstein-Rosen bridges. Back in 2015, for the first time ever, Researchers in Spain created a tiny magnetic wormhole. They used it to link two regions of space so that a magnetic field could pass between them invisibly. Before you get too excited, keep in mind that this was not the type of gravitational wormhole that could theoretically allow us to travel quickly across space or transport matter. However, the physicists were able to create a tunnel in which a magnetic field could vanish at one point and then reappear at another, which was still a huge achievement. Recently, scientists found out that it may be possible to build a real, traversable wormhole, but only if our universe has extra dimensions. But before we get to how scientists can build the wormholes, you need to understand the theory behind one. Einstein and Rosen began by formulating a mathematical solution for a black hole, which includes a singularity and an event horizon. According to the physics of the universe, they discovered that this solution could be extended to include the polar opposite of black holes, white holes. These hypothetical white holes also have a singularity, but they work in the opposite way as a black hole nothing can enter the white hole's event horizon, and any material inside the white hole is immediately ejected. Theoretically, every black hole is paired with a white hole. Because the two holes could be in different locations in space, a tunnel or wormhole could be used to connect them. Unfortunately, the most serious drawback of wormholes is that they are extremely unstable. They are useless as actual shortcuts through the universe because their enormous gravitational strengths rip them apart faster than the speed of light as soon as they form. Now, scientists say they have found a way of building a nearly steady wormhole, one that collapses slowly enough for messages and possibly even objects to be sent down it before it rips itself apart. The only way to make these stabilized wormholes is by using exotic matter. Exotic matter is a hypothetical kind of matter that has both a negative energy density and a negative pressure or tension that exceeds the energy density. As white holes do not exist, the alternative to use can be a charged black hole that will have negative energy. Now, the exotic matter can take the form of a negative mass matter, which doesn't appear to exist in the universe, or some other scenario that violates general relativity's energy conditions a traveler would have to pass through a region of negative energy to stabilize a wormhole. As they pass through the wormhole, this negative energy would balance out the positive energy of the traveler's mass, keeping the wormhole open. Now, there is one thing. Not every physical scenario is according to energy conditions, and they violate it sometimes. 
Physicists do not know of a single instance in which all of the energy conditions are violated, on average, over long periods of time. This is exactly what you need to do to build a wormhole, as per Einstein's theory of general relativity. In general relativity theory, we assume that energy is greater than zero at all times and in all places in the universe. This has a very important consequence for gravity. Energy is linked to mass via the formula E equals mc squared. As a result, negative energy would imply a negative mass. Gravity attracts positive masses, but when a negative mass is present, gravity can become a repellent force. At this stage, to make this work, string theory comes into consideration. Inspired by string theory's concepts of many extraspatial dimensions, all warped upon themselves and compressed to submicroscopic scales, some theories propose that there are additional spatial dimensions to reality besides the usual three. These extra dimensions aren't necessarily massive. If they were, we'd have noticed particles or planets appearing and disappearing from them. However, the extra dimensions could be much larger than string theory's minuscule dimensions, possibly as large as a millimeter. It is according to the Randall Syndrome 2 model, also known as the five-dimensional warped geometry theory, which describes the universe in terms of five dimensions. In a recent research paper, an Indian team proposed that general relativity governs our understanding of wormholes but the presence of extra dimensions may alter how general relativity operates, allowing wormholes to exist. The physicists investigated whether a wormhole could be built in the Brand World model. This model was first proposed by physicist Lisa Randall and Raman Sundram in 1999. Brand World is a theory in which the four space-time dimensions of the universe that are apparent make up a surface called the Bran in a higher dimensional space-time called the bulk. One of the appealing aspects of the Bran world is that it explains why gravity is much weaker than the other forces. It's because non-gravitational forces are localized to the Bran while gravitational forces are not. It's this Bran-based model of gravity the authors of the new paper discovered that they could construct a stable, traversable wormhole. Even better, because they didn't have to use any exotic materials. Although the team discovered that the situation still violated general relativity's energy conditions, they claimed that this was a feature, not a bug. Instead of requiring some strange and exotic ingredients to construct a wormhole, they claimed that the nature of gravity in the extraspatial dimensions naturally resulted in a violation of the energy conditions. Wormholes emerged as a natural result of those conditions being broken. In the produced wormhole, Entering it would instantly transport the crew to another point in space-time if the pilot could navigate through the chaos, but this is only true from the perspective of the traveler. From the standpoint of an outside observer, the journey would take the same amount of time as light to travel from point A to point B, which is consistent with general relativity theory. This, however, would be nearly impossible to achieve. Such wormholes do not exist in nature and engineering negative mass to create them would be difficult. This is not the last word on the subject of wormholes, as it is with all theoretical work on the subject. Nobody knows whether the randall sundrum theory or any other brand's extra dimensions-based theory is correct. Nobody has a quantum theory of gravity, which would almost certainly change the calculations, possibly removing the possibility of wormholes once more. The wormhole research boom, however, is still going strong. So far, nothing resembling a made-to-order human-sized wormhole machine appears to be in the cards, but there can be a possibility in an advanced world with new research. Brianna Grotto-White, a physicist and wormhole researcher at Brandeis University said, We're learning that we can, in fact, build wormholes that stay open. For a very long time, we didn't think these things were possible to build. It turns out that we can. What do you think about this? Is it possible to build a wormhole? Let us know in the comments. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.